Want to go? These are yours. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Alan Cox. He's been asked to leave on multiple occasions. Get out! He does that whole, huh? I can't hear you. It, it's too loud in here. Thing. 100.7 WMMS. We ended the metal show on Saturday night with Bring Me the Horizon. Aren't they a British band? I don't know. Pretty good, though. But I'll have those tickets for you all this week. You want to go see Fall Out Boy? Uh, out there at Blossom. Uh, 35192, you want to send a text in here. Uh, that is where I will see it. Uh, if you want to watch live, you can do that at alancoxshow.com. Who's helping out today? Clorky Bootsworth. Thank you so much, Clorky, <clears throat> for your <clears throat> assistance today. Hey, must have been fun shopping at the North Olmsted Giant Eagle when you start to hear shots pop off. Oh, man. I oh, what a good story. time. It was a murder-suicide. Clean up on aisle something. Uh, they determined that it was a guy. Uh, he, he came to kill his estranged wife. A couple of people in their 60s. Um, I guess better than a random mass shooting because that's the first thing you think now because everybody's armed. Nobody needs to be permitted or anything like that. So these days it can just whatever sets somebody off. Hey, these peaches are no good. Uh, I, that's where my brain goes when I see the uh, the headline about. Uh... But anyway, they I, I shouldn't even say his estranged wife. They have been divorced for two decades. Jeez. So that's what you want is a guy who that's can't let go company, and is heavily man. armed. Oop. Bernard Smith of Cleveland was 60, and his wife was a checker uh, at uh, Giant Eagle there. Uh, she'd been there a little over three years. 63-year-old Susan Patterson of, sorry, Patterson of Olmstead Township. This just means they're going to get rid of even more cashiers. Uh, they had been divorced in 2004, and the police chief said, we don't believe it was a very amicable divorce. No. There's some of that quality sleuthing going on. That is some good police work right there. And, well, it's just, it's pounding the pavement, knocking on doors, good, solid police work. We don't believe it was an amicable divorce, and this is potentially what may have led up to it, said the chief of police there in North Olmsted. So, yeah, this was a 20-year slow burn. This happened at about 9.30 in the morning uh, yesterday, That's right? Too yesterday early morning. To be that mad. Dude, people wake up mad. I know. It's, I, I had such a <clears throat> good weekend. And just I, I've, I've been having a good time lately. And just when I realize how lucky I am to be able to do things that I loved to earn a living and then just really have a very enjoyable life, it just makes me so incredibly thankful and then you see things like this and you're just like man there's people that are just they're so miserable hate and their sad. life yeah all the just, time yeah, though all like the time. it never yeah, ends blaming other people for their problems which is what happens in a murder suicide i blame other people for my success blame <laughs> <laughs> this is your fault yeah you know, that, that's to the to the haters out there oh you don't like that i'm successful blame the people watching well, listening. that's why we call uh, that's why we call Bill our mass shooter of positivity. Let's not do that. You don't like that? Don't Is like that, that bad that branding? Yeah, that's, oh, okay. That's not great branding. Well, we'll workshop it again. Mm-hmm. So the guy walks in. Ex- Boy, you figure after twenty years, even if you had a non amicable divorce, you figure after twenty. And I, I doubt that in a situation like this, there was radio silence between the two of them for twenty years. But let's say there was. Imagine that. You think you're probably out of the clear uh, after 20 years. They said there were about 67 employees and about 200 customers inside the store at the time. So it's very sad and gross and uh, everything else. The guy walks in and um, takes care of his ex-wife that way, I guess. At 930 in the morning, too, you know, uh, you figure a lot of people might be in church which is why there's a lot of people who plow their way into churches with firearms on Sunday mornings. But they have a couple of hundred people there. That is that the one um uh, that's the one by uh 
the giant eagle back there, it's kind of tucked in off of Lorraine a little bit, right? It's not yeah. far. It's not far from Great Northern. It's, it's, it's right. It's like across the street and down a little bit from Great Northern. Yeah. From the mall, that's the giant eagle. Well, we went through a phase of shopping there because it's not too far from Berea because they had better produce than the Berea giant eagle. But Brian changed his mind when the Berea giant eagle got Mountain Dew Zero. <laughs> Is that the red one? No, the zero sugar one. Ah. So it's like Diet Mountain Dew, but it's supposed to taste better. Gotcha. But what I'm saying is is that we usually do our grocery shopping on Sundays, so Brian very well could have been there had they had Mountain Dew Zero. You guys still do big shops? Um, it depends. That seems to be like a thing of the past, at least for us. I don't ever see people with, like, big, full carts anymore. Well, Brian's a vegetarian, yeah. and we're both trying to eat healthier, so a lot of what we buy is produce. So we do Right, like, but you also got to time that out, because right. produce goes in like 48 hours. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So we'll do shops on Sundays for like, we get we drink a lot of, you know, canned bubbly and pop and things like that. That stuff doesn't go bad, but we'll do like a Sunday shop for things for the week, and then we'll do another shop Wednesday or Thursday. Are to you get meal prepping, or you're just planning yeah. for the week? Well, both, because we have like- we always have a ton of fresh fruit as far as snacks go. So we have, like, like right now we have apples, two different kinds of apples, strawberries, cherries, grapes, and so I have and bananas. So we have five different types of fruit just right now. So that'll probably get us through till Wednesday or Thursday, and then we'll go again to get more fruit and stuff for the weekend when Blake's there. Honey, we're out of bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Does he eat it out of the little holder? Yes, or, he does. Okay. He doesn't go naked Nana like you do. All right. Well, my wife was uh, perplexed by this as well. She goes, what's the thing with the... Because um, I had uh, maybe about a week or so ago, I had posted a photo of me holding a naked banana, you know, just to rile up the naysayers. Right, you got to get, you know, it's your brand. You know what it is, Bill? They call that engagement. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Gwen goes, I don't get it. And I go, ah, everybody busts my balls because I eat uh, bananas Including bare. Including Jason. And she goes, yeah, why do you do that? And I go, well, because it's basically a matter of where is there a garbage? I'm either going to throw it away now or I'm going to throw it away later. And if I hang on to it and need to throw it away later, there's nothing worse than walking around with a banana peel because you don't. She's like, there's a garbage right in our kitchen. I go, no, I'm talking about like if I'm somewhere and I have a banana, I'm going to peel it, throw away the peel, and then eat my banana. I'm, it's not contingent on where I am. But if you're holding an empty banana peel, that's why so many of them lot end up on the ground. People just throw them on the ground. And then, of course, people slip. Hilarity can, of course, <sighs> ensue. But that's my thought, as always. It's just contingent on my proximity to a, uh, a receptacle. Because this way, I throw it right away, and I don't have to worry about walking around later on like a dummy holding a banana peel. That's my explanation to my wife. I'm probably overthinking it, but I mean, I'm surprised when you're walking around in public, sometimes how few garbage cans there are. There's, the, I the, think it's that the too. opposite. No, because well, there no, have been no, plenty no. of times where I've wanted to well, throw something away and I'm standing around like, let, what let the me hell? tell you the theory. There's always, always a ton of garbage cans when you don't have anything to throw away. I feel like I see them all the time. I'm bumping into them. They're just everywhere. Wait, you can't get then, out of the way? You're bumping into I, them? Because the, it just seems like there's so many when I don't have anything to throw away. Now, as soon as I have something that I need to throw away, they are all gone. There's not a garbage can anywhere in this city or any nearby city. Hmm. It there's just, never been a garbage can. There's never been a garbage can. It, it was a That sounds like anecdotal evidence to me. Imagination. It, but doesn't it seem like that when you need to throw something away, there's never a garbage can, but you're like, That's I swear. why I don't want to walk around with an empty banana but peel. But a banana peel is not empty. garbage. It it's is. Compost. You can throw it on the It's floor. literally refuse. Nobody mm. eats the peel. Yeah, throw but you it in the woods. Throw it in the woods. In the, the woods downtown Cleveland. Yes. <laughs> throw, it, throw it in the planter over there. What plant? What I'm gonna throw refuse into the flower it's planter? The, the flowers need it though. The, it'll break nitrogen. down. Something about nitrogen. Yeah. Great. Nitrogen. Then wherever the garbage goes, they can worry about it. Then I'll it's, let the garbage people worry about it. It's biodegradable that. and it biodegrades fast. Yes, that's what everyone tells themselves when they're just throwing things in in the when streets. I throw, when you throw, uh, it biodegrades, all of a sudden everybody's an environmental scientist when they're talking about their banana peels. About in a banana public. peel? It's it's not a it's not a plastic bag. I want to throw a plastic just, bag. It just throw it away. Just throw it in the garbage. 
And nobody nobody else cares about the earth. They just care about the earth when they've got garbage in their hand. They go, eh, throw it in the dirt. It'll 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 biodegrade. I'm not lie, if I have any like if I'm eating an apple in my car and I get to the core part of it, I throw it out the window. Yeah, that's what Are you, you do. It's, a it's an apple core. So it's garbage. So like a raccoon will throw eat it. or something. Oh my god. Your boyfriend's a garbage man. I know what he is. He's a recycle man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, same thing, right? Same universe. So what are you trying to say? What I'm saying is wouldn't he tell you not to do that? No, because it is food. It's food. An, you, an animal will eat an apple core. And so the people, let's say you're driving through a neighborhood, you've got an apple core, throw it out. No, the no, no, no. The people who live there are going to love no, that you're bringing throw, all the boys no, to the yard with your dumb apple cores. I don't throw it at people's houses. I didn't say at the houses. You throw it in the street. Next no. thing, these people who live there, you're just passing through their neighborhood. They've all of a sudden, why do we have so many cats and raccoons in our neighborhood? First of all, cats don't eat apples. You yeah, don't know cats anything about cats. Aren't. <laughs> Second of all. <laughs> you guys got an answer for everything, <laughs> this don't you? This isn't, I don't do this it's in. It's garbage. Can you stop? Yes. I don't do this in residential neighborhoods. I live That's a highway thing. In, no, not, I, I literally will wait until I'm in like a wooded area. And I live in Berea. Why don't you wait until you're home and put it in the garbage because can? Because maybe the deer wants a treat, Alan. Why you think are you about trying that? to attract deer I'm to not, your... No, no, no. Again, this is not a residential area. I'm saying if I'm in the metro parks, I will toss an apple core out my window thinking a fox or deer or raccoon or something will eat Are that. you frequently driving through the metro parks? Yes. I Have you been to Berea? Literally, the guess, main drag through Berea is the Metro Parks, uh, okay. where I live. I guess I haven't gone through the Metro Parks. To, I actually have to go to Berea this week for something. Where are you coming? You coming over? I'm not come coming over. over. I'm gonna what? Out. I'm gonna walk through your Apple Core minefield just yes. to come over and hang out. No thanks. Brian has his drum set up. Listen, you can play the drums. I I guess my take is, <laughs> it's garbage. It's so not throw, garbage though. It's an apple. But it, you're, if it's you're not, not like eating, I'm taking a if paper bag and throwing it out the window. But it's still refuse. It's you're not different. Eat, you, yes, bio biology wise, it is. Right. Yes, but it's still garbage because you're no. getting rid of it. An apple will go back into the earth. A plastic in a cup matter or of a, days, or a yeah, or a aluminum can. I will understand not. that. That doesn't make it not garbage. You're like I eat an entire apple, okay? If I eat an apple, I eat the core and everything, then right? Then why you want me to start bringing them to work for you? Bring no, my I apple cores. I don't eat other for people's cores. No, no, be more specific. Apple cores. Listen, I'll start eating a lot of apples. <laughs> I just, eat apples like three or four days a week, honestly. <laughs> just to bring the apple cores in for Alan. I'm gonna get my fill of apples. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I eat plenty. Yeah. Uh, bringing in a plastic grocery bag full of apple cores. <laughs> Here you go, Alan. You didn't want stinky. us throwing these no. in the in the woods. <laughs> it's garbage, but it's garbage that will go away quickly. I understand it's fine. that, so but it's, it's still garbage. Well, I say throw it in the woods, throw it in the grass. People I don't are, feel bad about throwing or like uh, if it's like. I'm not saying fresh you should feel food. bad. I'm just saying everybody makes everybody all of a sudden is a conservationist out of convenience. They're yeah. Like, oh, it's good for the landscape. Oh, it is. What if you go back a week later and nothing has eaten that apple core? Because even the animals are like, wait, you couldn't give me a friggin' apple slice? It's going to degrade back into the ground. Are there animals that are eating cores? There's nothing wrong with an apple being on the ground. In the woods. That's fine. But you know. There's all kinds of people who throw whatever they have in right, the car out the window. Right, but we're not talking about that. I know. We're talking about food that I rega- biodegrades I regard quickly. it all the same. Don't throw crap out of your window. Same. I'm not saying it is. We've what, established You are saying thing. it is. No. You're literally saying it is. Listen to me. <laughs> we have already, many minutes ago, established that an apple core is not a plastic bag. All I'm saying is... I don't like the idea of people just throwing crap out their windows as they're driving. Just put it in the garbage when you get home. It's not an inconvenience. That apple core is not inconveniencing you in the car. But what if you're saving that hungry deer's life? Correct. How so? They, They've never they're, eaten. They're, they're so hungry. There's already too. Ma- <laughs> there's already too many deer and too little food. No. What That's if, why deer in our okay. neighborhood are eating all my all my plants. What if uh, the deer? Well, then I'll keep the deer away from your plants by feeding them apple cores. Yeah, yeah, that's the how deer work. Mm-hmm. You don't know how deer work. Yeah, I have plenty of them around. They will, and so do you. If you live where you say you live, you have deer all over the place. Probably. I know what I have. That's why I feed them. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, yeah. just yesterday I fed there was a squirrel. His name's Roger. He lives in our front yard, and I feed him trail mix. And Brian hates it because he's like, "You're going to become one of these weird squirrel ladies. You have to stop before this happens." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he Listen, goes, "I'm telling you." Uh, let me al- let me also say this to you. 
I think quite possibly you're literally not supposed to litter in the metro parks. And second, not litter. Just because it biodegrades does not mean. Did an apple core generate naturally there in the metro parks? No, it is someone's trash. It is someone's refuse. It is something someone threw away. No one is debating that it's biodegradable. Of course it is. It's organic material. That ain't the point. When you walk through the park, there's plenty of signs. Throw your crap in the garbage. They don't make the distinction. Hey, plastic bags go here. Apple cores go on the ground. I, they, I've never seen a sign like that. Everybody's calling me a Karen. What do you want from me? <laughs> I just think it's weird to throw crap out the window of your car. Just because you animals do it doesn't mean that it's a normal thing. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I don't feel bad if it's natural food. I'm not. I, this is. I'm not throwing chips. <laughs> or things like that. I bet the, the deer you're so eager to feed <laughs> would love some Cool Ranch Doritos. They might. They might. But the, yeah. like a na- whole natural item that comes from the earth, I don't feel bad putting it back on the earth. All right. Aluminum cans, no. Plastic bags, no. Alan, do you bag up your grass clippings? I do, as a matter of fact. Next. Dude, grass clippings smell so bad. Well, they tr- they they. Create a mo- uh, They create like an ammonia if you let them sit in like bags, or you got to do it like right before they're going to go out. Because so, our trash comes Monday, gets picked up Monday, and Brian usually mows the lawn on Saturdays. And in those two days of it sitting in the trash can, hot and stinky, it makes me want to throw That's up. Bad it's bad news. It's disgusting. Yeah, you poison yourself. You keep that thing open. For well, and he's like, it's literally decomposing. Yes. like it's, it's giving off. Was alive and, and now it is not. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, everything that I'm looking up is just like this Allen version of being right, where it's just like, yeah, it's still litter and blah, 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 but I still don't like it. No, listen, I, I'm not telling. <laughs> That's and I'm my not, way of saying you you win. And and, and don't, <laughs> no, 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 but don't don't mistake me here. If I saw Mary do that, it's not like I'd say something. If I saw somebody throw an apple core in the ground, it's not like I'd say something. You'd like, wouldn't like make her run over and pick it up? No. He's shaking you his like, fist. Like, you old crone! <laughs> no, I'm not. Like pull over, like, get, go get it! <laughs> I am no core shamer. Bill in Lakewood, hello. Hey, Al. Hate the show. Thank you. Boy, that was quite an in- interesting uh, conversation on apples. <laughs> oh, it ain't over. Uh, Mary, if, if you want to win, I think you should drive by uh, Al's house and toss an apple core and then text him. That'd be funny. But uh, getting back to the giant eagle thing, no. uh, that is beyond scary nowadays. No matter where you live now, people are popping guns out. The guy, got, the guy did it right at the cash register. <laughs> but well, that's right. where I mean, that's where right. his ex, ex-wife. Well, he did was... it at the cash register, and then you self checkout. Oh, how about? Uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's the final checkout for his wife and him. All right, thank you. Hey, Leslie. Hi, I am really sorry because I think that I'm on a delay using the app, and I don't know if you guys talked about this with regards to the Apple cores, but um, the big reason why you shouldn't throw them on the side of the road and just let it decompose is it'll attract animals um, that are prey animals, and then that attracts bigger apex predators like owls, which are really important to the ecosystem, and they can get hit by cars, and that's how you end up with the animals that um, end up going to Cleveland Museum of Natural History or to, like, the Raptor Center that, like, are missing eyes, broken wings, and can't be reintroduced back into the population. Listen, as a bird rescuer, Leslie, I can – yeah, okay, I'll I'll take your word for all that. I mean, nobody is going to go that far down that rabbit hole and think about that, but – and Mary's trying to attract animals. I'm not. Literally not. Uh, <laughs> I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg. Yes. Go ahead. Let me get, get off speaker here. How you Thank doing? Thank you. Good. What's up? I hate the show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you said it different than other <laughs> people. <laughs> that's like that's good. That's, that's the way I like it. That's going. That's so the OG a, way to do it. For yeah. I got a question for you. Lay it on me. So when you cut your grass, what do you do with your grass? I just talked about this. I bag up the clippings. I rake them in bag. I just, I'm sorry, but I just, I'm sorry. I just got out of work and I'm It's okay. There. It's all right. Okay. So what do you do with the garbage when you cut your grass? What do you mean? What do you do with the grass when you're done cutting it? Bag it up. And do what with it? Put it on the, on the tree lawn. For where? I mean, is it, you put it in with your garbage or do you put it in for them to pick up? Separately? No, in those paper bags for, for lawn clippings. Okay. And so what you're telling me that your grass is not garbage. 
Greg, what's your point? Uh, th- that's what these My bags are made for. You ask me if that's what I do, and not, that's what I do. A, an apple is not garbage, just like grass is not garbage. Until it, it decomposes, it doesn't thing. instantaneously decomposed. I'm also not throwing all my gla- grass clippings out of the car window as I'm driving. Maybe you should. Ooh, What's your point? I understand, but you're that saying way. that an apple or a banana peel should be put in the garbage. Animals are not going to eat grass. Well, you've never met a cow. I, I understand that, but it's a plant, just like an apple core or a banana. It's grass. It's right, but garbage. Greg, you, did you the lady who just called and said it attracts all these animals, it's no good, blah, blah, blah. Grass does not attract animals to eat. There are a lot of hungry deer out there. Wow. Listen, we've really right. gone. Thank you, Greg. I got to move on. We've really gone way off the reservation. I can here. name an animal. That I eats was grass. just, uh, I'll circle fully back and then I'll move on. I was just surprised to hear that you were throwing apple cores out the window. Here's what I'm going to say to you one animal that you care about. Enormous, an enormous amount eats grass, and that's one contented little grace. Alan, did you ever think about her? Grace, did you ever think about her? Mary died forty years ago. She would have eaten all right? grass. She, <laughs> I don't know. She has four stomachs specifically to eat grass. I don't know what she would have done. I was just surprised that you. Uh, I don't know why I was surprised. I mean, I, I don't know. But she chucking apple cores apple. out the out the window. She would have loved an apple core. Yeah. All right. How about this? Do what I do. Starting to eat a whole apple. No. Best parts in the, the corn and seeds anyway. That's where all the nutrients are. Come on, Mary. No. All right. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper right now. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. I care about the nutrients. Hey,